I'm going to show you guys how to install mods, um, I don't know, the uh, high definition mods for Half-Life. So the first thing that I'm going to do, that, and we'll close that down, so it's not what we're going to be doing. I have already got the this uh, file open. We're going to just do this. Um, auto execute. Just see, and we're going to copy these files over. And these these are the uh, high definition models for the games and that might actually be one of the reasons why I'm not able to connect to my uh, server to my dedicated server little test server that I was trying to get to work but it should work so we've already copied these over now I'm going to copy another file and I'll link to this one as well. Mm. So I will be linking, be copying model HD. In there, we got sounds. Copy that in here, and we're going to fine tune Half Life a little bit. You place map, and we're going to go to here. Here's now we're going to go to bonus, optional models, scientist for. So we're going to add the flipboard scientist. And then we're going to just see if we have a file that we should have in here. And we're going to load, um, load Half Life because it. Because sometimes the file will not be in there that should be in there, and I don't know why it's not in there. But we're gonna just test it out, and that's the file that I need to look up. So let's look this up. HLPS two, because I wanted to see, if, but but that's pretty close to what we needed. So we'll just copy that over here. And I'm going to just load the game. Let's try it again. Shall we? You know, this is kind of irritating. But I'm going to show you guys how to fine tweak. How to fine tune Half Life's graphical settings. So let's make sure we're in enable weight for vertical sync. I'm I'm on a, a, a high definition monitor on a 144 hertz monitor, but now we got the textures loading. So, so oh dear, why aren't these sensors working? I wonder if they're needed for today's training run. Ah, oh, good morning, Gordon. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things are in a state of commotion this morning, but the training facility software should be in working condition. Please listen carefully, as there is a little paperwork to take care of before we get started. 
Oh, I see that you have already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Freeman, hereby agree to the following terms, blah, 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 in any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc., hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Mesa facility. Okay, very good. And if there are no questions, then please step through this door to begin your training. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. For use in hazardous environmental conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Now I'm going to show you guys how how to how to get um, how to tweak Half Life's visual settings. Um, See, so I'm just I'm going to load um, a little Rapid Core Go over here. Find the shotgun. This is what we need to do. I want to find a logo. So I'm going to first go here and do FPS underscore. Underscore max three zero one three zero one. So default FOV. If we're running at ten eighty P, we're running the game at ten eighty P. Then we're going to change the not FOV is ninety, so that's four by three. Um, one zero six point two three, or yeah, two three. Yeah, now. So getting the settings right, and we're going to be doing, um, if you want to get it all 
Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Go here. I'm gonna add a setting. So we can make it look like old, like uh, old school Half Life. We disable texture smoothing. So let's go here, and I'm gonna show you how to enable texture smoothing. Nearest the linear. So nearest linear, nearest GL, nearest mit map linear is still using trilinear filtering, but we have disabled texture smoothing. So if you want to enable um, texture smoothing, again, we can do this. We can do that, and it, and it looks better when you when you actually disable the texture smoothing, even though it's just gonna look a little bit blur. It's not gonna look as blurry, but it's gonna come out really nice when you do that. So I'm going to go into here and. Do that, do more, do more quality of life improvements to the game. So you can really see that the game, although it got more jaggies, the textures look cleaner. And some people prefer it this way too, over um, over the way it is. And so, and so, this is something that this is something I just wanted to show you guys in an entire video. So we're gonna the next fine tuning thing we're gonna do is um has to do with gamma has to do with the gamma setting and And what I was doing for Gamma. So let's see what we got here for, for our brightness settings. And I'm going to show you guys. They're not set properly. So we're going to set that. Before we do it, before we go, let's go back to that area. Then maybe we'll be able to see the differences here. But you can see the textures. The textures look a lot better. But let's kind of go back to the area that we were at. Zero point five. So I'm gonna see what we got here. Gamma. One point eight. So we're gonna add gamma one point eight. So now the gamma now the gamma is properly uh, lighted. I mean, basically what the original Half-Life settings were. And I think the original Half-Life also had, like, 
um, bilinear filtering by filtering set up by default. That's kind of what bilinear fil. It's kind of and didn't have the texture filtering set up. As I said, these might depend upon your taste, but the brightness and gamma settings are something that I would highly enable. I would re probably recommend just use the high definition pack, even though I feel like it this changes unnecessary things in the game. So I felt like really needing to go back and redo this guide and do like a more comprehensive guide and just demonstrating how the settings work. Both of those uh, geo uh, mipmap settings are um, are um, trilinear settings. <laughs> 